Gaffer, a disappointing way to exit the tournament after doing so well in the first 60 odd minutes. Mm. Yeah, I think spot on. 60 minutes, I thought we were we were good at you know uh, uh, sticking to our game plan. Um, in fairness, I mean uh, Rangers, uh, if we'd have if we'd have come off five five goals, would have been probably a fair reflection at half time in terms of chances missed, chances created, balls bouncing around in the in the in the six yard box, <coughs> and not putting a, you know putting the final touches to things. Um, and I, I thought physically we. As you'd expect, um, we knocked them into next week. But but the trouble is, um, you know, we've got a group of lads out there today who haven't played any football particularly, and that's why that's why they played. Um, you know, you, you asked me after the Maidenhead game, is the team going to be strong? Well, yeah, that's a, that's a strong team. You know, that that team was picked to win this game tonight, and um, after an hour we looked okay, and then well we gassed. We ran out of gas, as far as I'm concerned. Um, players' legs went, uh, and so you know, fitness became an issue then. And we weren't clever enough to say, "Well, I'll tell you what, we're three. You know, in terms of our experience levels, um, you know, we're three-one up. If we can't chase it up there and press it anymore, let's drop away and um, uh, and deny space and deny areas because they're, they're, they're all little half-position players. You know, they're all international. The vast majority of them are international players for their countries, but. Um, you know, they all want to play in these little pockets of space and pass balls through you. And to a certain extent, that's how we set up to play at Barra, um, deny that. And we were, showed a lack of intelligence really to, 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 to then drop away. And when you consider, you know, the, the experience of some of the boys in the team, I expect them to, to deal with that. But um, they didn't. And to be honest with you, they, they, they looked a threat every time they went forward. Then we were at full stretch at times trying to keep them out. We, we came off our what got a success in the first half. Whether that was because they were too tired to get there, I don't know. But um, listen, I said to them afterwards, it, the bottom line is it, it's pointless knocking my door and asking if you're going to play. And well, you know what I mean? You've got you to front up and, and show what you've got. And um, did we do that? No. Did we do, you know, did, did, our, um, did our fitness levels look sufficient to play a National League game? Uh, you know, with the physicality of it and, and, and what you've got to, to have, uh, no. So, yeah, that, some of them will have to wait. Just in terms of the tournament, obviously out of it now, but great experience and that was a cracking cup tie as well for the neutral. Well, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was a good game. I mean, it, it was a good game. Obviously, I, I call it contrasting styles. I, I said, said to Al, "Listen, we can pass the ball. We got we got some good players." Um, so, did did we pass it enough? Were we brave enough on it at times in midfield? No, because it, again, if you beat their press with your pass, then you're in on the other side of it. So, you know, did did we have enough about us? No. But for an hour, we we as you would expect, we beat them up, and um, they. <laughs> I mean, at times it was carnage, really, watching, watching them trying to defend that what we'd got. But we didn't score. You know, we should have been absolutely out of sight. It could have been a cricket score, but we weren't. We weren't. And um, there you go. They play their Disney records and go into the into the quarterfinals. So good luck to them.